In 2007, the Texas legislature passed two bills, Senate Bill 3 and House Bill 3, which together established a new process for trying to determine environmental flow needs of our rivers and streams and coastal bays and estuaries, and then develop standards to actually make sure that those flows are there for the benefit of fish and wildlife habitat for the future. You know, everybody, I think, understands now the value of protecting environmental flows. The question now is how to protect those flows, not whether to protect those flows. So we finally passed the environmental flows legislation. We uh, narrowly missed passing that in 2005. This time it came down to the very last day of the session, the very last hours, but through the heroic efforts of lots of people, the bill finally passed. What this legislation does is establish a process to determine how much water our rivers and bays need to stay healthy. We don't really know the answer to that question yet. So that's the first step under the legislation, and it involves people from throughout the different river basins in Texas who really know their own rivers, and it involves scientists from all over the state. Once we get those numbers, then those will translate into regulations that essentially cap the amount of water you can withdraw from a river basin. That's going to encourage efficiency, it's going to encourage appropriate water rates, trading, and it's going to allow us to meet our future human water needs while we still keep our rivers and bays healthy for fish and wildlife, and something for future generations to enjoy. The way Texas is addressing the environmental flows process has never been tried before on this scale, and the results could influence how others forge environmental laws in the future. Texas is really leading the way in the nation on environmental flows right now. This is the most comprehensive environmental flow protection statute in the country. So we need to make sure that we implement it correctly.